Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. For number six here, we're really just looking at different ways of multiplying multiple tens. So in this case, it looks like we're starting off with 10 times negative two. If this exponent is negative, it means you move the decimal to the left to make the number smaller. If the, the exponent is positive, so like in this case, this would be a one, a one, a four, and a two, you're moving it to the right that many places. So in this case, let's take a look. Looking at this guy, because it's 10 to the negative two, we'd move it to the left twice putting us between the five and the four. So which one of these are the same? Well, this is 10 to the one, so move it to the right. That's not gonna be between five and four. This one's 10 to the one, so move it, and we'd actually have to add a zero on the end of that one. This one's four, so one, two, three, four. That's not between the five and the four. This one is two, so one, two. That one's between the five and the four, so our answer is D. So number seven is just using some logic here, along with if you know how big these items are. So it says, when measuring the area of a football field, you would most likely use what? Square inches, square millimeters, square miles, or square yards. Well, inches and millimeters would be extremely small, so they'd be out right off the bat. But miles and yards, well, miles would actually be too big because you wouldn't even have one full mile with the length of a football field. And we know that football fields are already measured out to be 100 yards. So our answer here is D. So number eight here is breaking down a number line. It says here on the number line, which point L is to be located halfway between M and N? What number would be point L? So first off, these are jumping by halves right here. Let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 halves between them, meaning half of 11 would be five and a half. So I'm just gonna count over from five and a half jumps. One, two, three, four, five, and I'd go halfway to this next one. Well, this right here is negative one half, so halfway to that would be negative one fourth because that splits a half and half. So our answer here is A. Number nine is just a vocab game. It says, which one of the following statements is true? Parallel lines intersect at right angles. Well, parallel lines actually mean two lines that never touch, that so they do not intersect. So this one's out. Parallel lines never intersect. Well, I just said that, so that means our answer is B. Let's double check with the rest. Perpendicular lines never intersect. Perpendicular means that the two lines come together at a 90 degree angle, so they do intersect right there at that point. And intersecting lines never or have two points in common. That's false because a line goes in one direction for other. So if you ever are doing that, another line would cross it, but they would never cross again in the Euclidean plane. So to speed 10 along, I drew as a picture here. It says that a practice diving tank is 16 feet long, 12 feet wide, and 14 feet deep. It's currently filled up to the three foot mark. So you can see I have this filled up with water. Then it says it must go up to the 12 foot mark, which is gonna be higher, obviously. And they wanna know how much water you would have to add to get it from that three foot mark up to the 12. So let's take a look here. That means it would be a 16 by 12. So that would be 16 times 12 times the height. Well, we already have three, but we need to make it up to 12. So that means we have nine more to go. So we're gonna multiply this by nine. So really you just need to do 16 times 12 times nine, which ends up being 1,728, which is answer B. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you wanna see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here and they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck and I hope you have a wonderful day.